me conclude with a couple last slides. The road ahead, this is our research program for 2018 and beyond. You can see we have released 10.51 last year, 10.6 in January, and we're marching towards 10.6.1 and Pro 2.2 this summer. Lots of neat things going on. Uh, my colleague John Calkins, who's behind the screen here someplace, uh, put up a stand back here. He said, tell Jack what you want. Is there something back there? Did you guys notice it? Some big sign up there, little forms. Look, we, we live for you guys. That's our main mission. And I want to be sure that as we're looking at this list, if there's other things that we're messing up, maybe not conceptual like this, but little things, uh, screwy things in the software or um, with our people like me, for, <laughs> tell us, please. We want feedback from you. This is how it actually works. Beyond software, we spend a lot of your resources really on professional development and lifelong learning. We do this with books. I'll call your attention here to two things. One is the personal use license and also the Learn GIS, which is a massive website with dozens of online training courses and podcasts. They have MOOCs inside of there for, for very extensive. We're just about to do one on cartography, but on spatial analysis and so on. So take a look here. As I mentioned, our organization, ESRI, is a funny little company in the sense that it's totally focused on our users. We don't have stockholders. Our users, you are our stockholders. So you give us direction. We spend your money on advancing the tools. And I hope you got a kind of a sense of flavor of what we're working on last year and this year. But also advancing this concept of the science of wear, bringing it all together. And at this particular point in our history of our nation and the world, this is a big deal. Leveraging the power of the science of geography with these advancements and tools. Reporting back to you, I'd say we're strong and growing. We had an enormous growth year last year. And uh, we're promoting spatial literacy in K through 12 and, and supporting our partners who are part of our fabric. Specifically, you asked last year if we would improve security. And we have been working strong on that with FedRAMP for ArcGIS Online and our managed services and STIG for enterprise implementations. These are guides to help implement easier the technology and also providing additional resources to help back up your teams and your agencies. I told you once before that partners are a rich part of our ecosystem. ESRI is about a billion dollar company here in the United States, but our partner ecosystem is about 20 billion that gets dragged with our little billion. These are partners that are quite unique and interesting, and they're going to be out here. They've helped put on this, this uh, event. I invite you to meet with them. Um, there's a whole spectrum of them. One of the new big ones that I'm so excited about is PAR Government, who is helping us build, we're helping them build a total situation awareness system for not only s defense and intel, but also we have deep integration with aspirations of doing that also for the civilian environment. Those of you who know us know that we care a lot about education. Um, not just higher education, and I know some of you are here for that, but also building a next generation of kids. We work closely with both the AAG and also the National Geographic Society in doing this. Um, and this is working, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is really working. I'm so excited about it. From September till January, I mean, we had three million kids not just make a map, but get engaged with ArcGIS Online and make a whole bunch of maps and do community projects. This is the beginning of a great revolution. I, I'm so excited about it. And those of you who are personally interested, you should know that ArcGIS Online is completely free and available to every K through 12 school in the United States. We have thousands and thousands and thousands of teachers and schools that are actually deploying it. But they need your help. So us together with AAG have a geo-mentoring program. This is about adopting a school or adopting a teacher. And I mean, you know, you want to have some fun? Go do it. I mean, it is mo some of the most thrilling moments of my year. So I'll conclude with this. GIS and mapping are advancing. Wouldn't you agree? 
This is a kind of neat evolution. And they're advancing location intelligence. This is the big dream that we can make a smarter world, that we can act more rationally, not going to the right or to the left, but going down the aisle with driven science and data as a foundation. It's expanding your effectiveness, and we saw some evidence of it. You're going to see a lot more after the break. And I think if we look back in these years, it's going to be very important to think of it in terms of making our government not just a political level, but I'm talking about the rank and file of how things actually get done. Your work, more intelligent. But this technology, well, we, you know, we're all, I'm always excited about the damn technology, but I'll tell you what, it doesn't really work unless you guys get it and understand it and get as passionate as I have about drilling it in and making it really work. Making implementations that drive missions like these beautiful ones that we saw at USDA. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much from my heart, I want to say this, for all the great work. You know, I, I have a privileged role. I, I get to see it. I mean, it's so amazing to me uh, for everything that you accomplished. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>